Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're going to be assembling the Monster High 18-inch kids bicycle with a Bluetooth speaker. Before we get started on this ghoulish ride, you will need a few tools. One or two 15mm wrenches, an adjustable wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a standard Schrader type tire pump. Scissors or a box cutter may also be helpful, as well as some white grease for lubrication. Open the box and check that all parts are present. You can check against the list in your assembly manual. If any parts are missing or damaged, or if you have any trouble with the assembly, don't return to the store. Call Dynacraft at 1-800-551-0032. We strongly recommend reading the manual or watching this video all the way through before beginning. If you aren't comfortable with the assembly, you should bring your new ride to your local bike shop to have a qualified mechanic put it together for you. In any event, you need to read the entire owner's manual that came with the bike before you ride it or let anyone else ride it. This video is not a substitute for the manual, which contains very important information for the safe use of your new bike. As we assemble the bike, it's a good idea to place a little white grease or anti-seize compound on the seat post, stem, and thread of the bolts to prevent rusting. Got your tools? Let's get started. You'll see that the frame, handlebars, front wheel, and other components are attached with zip ties. Cut the zip ties and remove any padding or packaging. First, we'll install the seat. Set the bike upright, rotating the fork so the blades are facing forward. Your Monster High bike has a quick release seat post, so installing the saddle is very easy. Just add a little white grease inside the seat tube and slide the post into the seat tube. Estimate the placement while making sure the minimum insertion mark is hidden and tighten the quick release lever. Rotating it clockwise with the lever open will tighten the clamp and you lock it into place like this. It should take some effort to close it, but if you have to force it, loosen the lever one rotation. Again, we will set this bike up for you later. On to the pedals. Remember the old saying, righty tighty, lefty loosey? Well, for bicycle pedals, it's only half true. Fortunately, the side that turns right is on the right. The left pedal is reverse threaded, so make sure you choose the correct pedal for each side. A red sticker should indicate the right side, and a green sticker is for the left. Place the pedal into the crank, and use your fingers to get it started. Threading it can be tricky, so make sure to do it correctly. Regardless of which side you're working on, the top of the thread will rotate towards the front of the bike to tighten the bolts. Once you finger tighten the pedals, use your 15mm wrench to snug them down. They are properly tightened when the pedal spindle, which is the axle that the pedal platform spins around, begins to bite into the metal on the crank. Now we'll install the front wheel. The front brake will have to be loosened to allow the tire to fit through. With your adjustable wrench, loosen the bolt, here. Check the tire sidewall for the correct direction of rotation. If you can't find that symbol, it means the tire can be installed in either direction. To install the front wheel, place it on the ground and set the fork into the gaps between the hub and retaining washers. If there isn't enough room, just open the nuts a little farther. Install the two retaining washers with the race lip pointed towards the fork and insert them into the small hole in the fork blade. Use your fingers to tighten the wheel nuts evenly. We want the wheel to be in the middle of the fork. If not even, adjust the placement with the wheel nuts by loosening and tightening either side. Use your 15mm wrench to tighten the wheel. This is where that second wrench can be helpful. Next, take a look at the handlebar assembly, which already has brake levers installed. Remove the plastic protector at the bottom of the stem and add a little white grease inside the steerer tube. Lift the handlebar assembly to the steerer tube, making sure this wedge is loose. Slide the stem down into the steerer tube, making sure any cables track smoothly along either side. Check for the minimum insertion mark. For safe riding, the minimum insertion mark should never be showing. Align the stem by looking down at the tire. The handlebar should be perpendicular to the wheel. Use your adjustable wrench to fasten it in place. We need to tighten the front brake back up by squeezing the brakes together, pulling the cable taut, and tightening the bolt with the adjustable wrench. Now we need to check to make sure everything is tight. Standing in front of the bike, grab the wheel between your knees and try to move the handlebar from side to side. It should not move. If it does, tighten the stem a little more until it's secure. The training wheels are easy. 
Lay the bike down on one side. Remove the outer nut on the rear axle, but make sure you leave the square plate and inner nut in place. Then slide the training wheel support into place. Tighten the nut back up. Do the same for the other side. Now it's time to pump up the tires. Check the sidewall of the tires for the correct inflation range, which will be a number followed by PSI. Our bike is built, but it's not time to ride yet. Before hopping on, we need to set up the bike for the rider. Let's start with the seat. Have your little ghoul stand to the left of the bike. Open the quick release, then raise or lower the saddle so that it's just below her hips, making sure the minimum insertion mark remains hidden. Tighten it, then have her hop on to see how it feels. At the bottom of the pedal stroke, her knee should have a slight bend in it. To start, she may prefer a somewhat lower seat height. The saddle should also always be parallel with the top tube. Next, adjust the handlebar height by loosening the bolt at the top of the stem and slide it up and down. Take note of the minimum insertion mark and make sure to check the stem connection is properly tightened as we did earlier. To rotate the handlebar, just loosen this bolt, place the handlebar in a comfortable spot for the rider, then tighten it up again. The Monster High bike has a feature your child will love. A detachable, pre-installed Bluetooth speaker that pairs with any Bluetooth-capable device. The rechargeable speaker charges via micro-USB, so you can juice it up by plugging the included micro-USB cable into any compatible wall charger or computer. While it's charging, the light will flash red. To connect your device to the speaker, turn the power switch to the on position. The light will slowly flash yellow. Next, put your device into Bluetooth discoverable mode and look for MH speaker. Click on the name and you should be connected. You'll know you've paired successfully when the light on the speaker is solid yellow. Now the rider can control her favorite tunes. Devices are not included. Great, we're set up. Now we need to make sure everything is working properly. Your bike may require some adjustments and tuning from a professional bike mechanic. Holding first the front, then the rear wheel off the ground, spin the wheel. Look through the brake pads. Give the brake handle a squeeze. The pads should be evenly spaced on either side of the rim, and they should contact it simultaneously, stopping the wheel so that it cannot be rotated with the brake engaged. If not, check the installation of the wheel. If your wheel is even, you will need to adjust the brake caliper. See your owner's manual for detailed instructions on how to adjust your brake. This bike is equipped with a coaster brake, and you need to make sure it's working. Hold up the back of the bike and spin the rear wheel. Now apply backwards pressure to the pedals your wheel should stop. If it does not, please give Dynacraft a call. If a wheel is wobbling, it might be out of true. That could be caused by uneven spoke tightness or some damage. In that case, you should go to a bike shop for assistance. To balance the bike with the training wheels, set the bike upright perfectly straight and loosen the nut on one side. Leave about a quarter inch space between the ground and the training wheel. Once the training wheel is in place, tighten the nut back up. Now do the same for the other side. The space between the ground and training wheel should be exactly the same on both sides. Before the first ride, it's a good idea to go over all the nuts and bolts, even those you didn't work on for this installation. Make sure they are snug, but don't over tighten. You should also lubricate the chain using the lube specifically made for bicycles. Most other common oils will not provide the required lubrication. As the bike is being used, Never ignore unusual sounds and mechanical difficulties as these can lead to a loss of control. And never neglect proper maintenance and tire inflation. Check the tires before every ride and of course, always make sure the rider wears a helmet. So that's how we assemble your Dynacraft Monster High 18 inch bicycle. Now send your spooky sweetie out for a frightfully fun time. This video is for informational purposes only and does not replace the owner's manual supplied with the product. Please read the owner's manual for complete assembly instructions and important safety information. And remember, be safe.